Predator Poachers Toronto. Um, so once again, the latest video, the 10 minute video of, um, well, let's be honest, a quick cash grab and clout. I say that because there is no reason why they should still be putting up these videos. You know, what's the point of put? Here's the thing. The reason why they stop uploading full videos in the way that they've been doing it is because they got a strike on their channel. They don't want their channel to get deleted. But here's the thing. If their video is 30 minutes long, 10 minutes long, 5 minutes long, what's the difference? Because at the end of the day, if YouTube sees that, they're going to sit there and take down the video. They're going to take down the fucking video regardless. Because a lot of these pedophile catching groups violates TOS. Now, I don't like it. I personally support all of their fucking channels, but it is what it is. It's shit that YouTube fucking laid out, and that's just how it is. And even, here's the thing, what people don't seem to understand is that even if they're not, you know, they're not yelling, they're not cursing, they're not being really aggressive, they're still violating terms of service. You can't upload someone's video without their consent. Um, and it is what it is. You just can't fucking do that. So at some point, they're always going to violate some some form of TOS. So to put up a video for five minutes or put up a video for two minutes, it's the same shit. I don't understand. They have their fucking full videos on their fucking Patreon. So like, why, like, why did they need to put it on YouTube for it? You know, why do they need to put it on fucking YouTube for it? Now... Patreon, like a lot of these different groups, I don't know what their terms of service are. But if they feel like, like if, if one of these fucking catches decides to fucking sue Patreon or like threaten legal action against Patreon, you know what Patreon's going to do? They're going to take down that fucking video. They're going to take down that video and they're going to take down that creator's profile. And they're going to be right back to square fucking one. Um, and it's really interesting about this whole shit. The Patreon, you know, because at the end of the day, listen, I'm not going to sit there and try to pretend like these operations and stuff like that doesn't cost money and, you know, people need to eat and people need to be able to support themselves. So I get the idea of making a Patreon. But here's the thing, though. Why don't you just make your own website? You know, make your own damn website at that point. I, I just, I don't. Sometimes I just feel like a lot of these fucking groups that switch their shit over to fucking Patreon are doing it because of a fucking cash grab. Now, if you look at Pop Squad's group, Pop Squad would sit there and say, hey, listen, um, you know, if you could donate, donate. You know, whatever you can give would definitely help towards the cause. But they're not making a fucking website when you have to pay five to 15 fucking dollars to go on their website to sit there and watch their catches. They're just, you know, he's not doing that. And it just makes me sit there and wonder exactly how much are they doing it for the greater good Versus how them how much they're that they're doing it for a fucking cash grab like it is what it is but you know a lot of these groups sitting like no you know I'm just doing it for the children I'm doing it for the children it's like you know it's like all right yeah I mean I'm not sitting there saying that that's not a con that's not a concern that's not a motivation for them but to sit there and try to act like it's all out of the goodness and the kindness of their fucking heart is just fucking ridiculous. Now, yes, I am sitting there slamming a lot of their, you know, on their groups and stuff like that and talking shit or whatever you want to sit there and call it, being negative or whatever. But at the end of the day, I will always sit there and support their groups. I will always sit there and choose what they do and the way, you know, even if I don't agree with how they're going about it, I'll always sit there and back them. Because at the end of the day, it's better them doing it than, you know, to as tipster likes to sit there and say, let the professionals handle it. I, I, I can't get over that. I, I can't. I can't with him. I really can't. But again, yes, I will always sit there and back them. I will always sit there and back groups like um, Waitlist, which I'm pretty sure no one's heard of, and a lot of these other different groups. Now, I'm going to keep sitting there saying this. Um, and it's not because I want to be right. I want to be fucking wrong. I want to be fucking wrong. But I want to sit there and say that within six to eight months time, a lot of these fucking channels will be gone. You know, I honestly tell you the truth. I'm not going to lie. I'm surprised I didn't sit there and wake up today 
and just typed in Toronto and the shit was just fucking gone. I'm, I'm really surprised. Um, cause YouTube doesn't like to always fucking play fair. They really don't, you know, they'll give a channel a strike. And then that creator will sit there and wait to things like calm and cool down or whatever. And then like in a month and a half time or within a fucking week, they'll just sit there and just delete their channel. You know, they'll just delete their fucking channel. YouTube has a, YouTube has fucking issues. They have a lot of issues. And I don't like the fact that, I don't, from, from a creator's temp standpoint, when they're doing these catches, I don't like how they have to sit there and switch up how they talk. You know, they can't sit there and say pedophile or they got to sit there and say pedo, you know, they got to sit there and say pred, they got to sit there and say CP. I don't like the fact that they got to sit there and censor their fucking language just to keep their fucking videos up. Because at the end of the day, here's the thing. Saying those actual words or, or stopping them from saying those actual words, they're still going to fucking exist. Okay? They're still going to fucking exist. So I don't really understand why they're, that they're trying to stop these, you know, groups from just even saying the name fucking pedophile. Or like, that's a real fucking word in the goddamn dictionary. Yet every single fucking time they got to sit there and say like pedo and... You know, you look at Drama Alert, and Drama Alert has to be so fucking careful whenever they're reporting on these fucking groups. Like, sometimes I'm just like, what are you even saying? Because he has to use so much different language just to sit there and express his opinion. is fucking ridiculous. So, yes, I have a huge gripe about the way that these groups have to operate it under YouTube's fucked up policies. But it is what it is. Anyway, I done rambled on way too long. Let me know what your thoughts are about, you know, Predator Poachers Toronto's latest 10 minute fucking video, you know? Watch the 10 minute video there, and you gotta sit there and watch the rest of their Patreon, and it's like five, uh, it just, I, whatever. Um, I do enjoy these groups, so maybe at some point I'll probably sit there and one up, like, signing up to one of their Patreons and probably watching their videos and shit. Just so I could sit there and keep reporting on these catches since YouTube. And their infinite fucking wisdom like to sit there and like just delete their channels and all this other bullshit that they're doing. Um, you know, to talk about it because, listen, at the end of the day, the, the shit still needs to come out, you know. It's, they, they still need to sit there and spread, spread awareness. And that's something that is very fucking important despite what that jackass fucking tipster said. Um... Because a lot of times these cops aren't going to fucking do anything. And even when they do do stuff, the minute they get out of jail, they're just going to sit there and reoffend again. So the best thing you can sit there and do is expose these pieces of garbage for who and what they are. So, write your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Be safe. I'll catch you in the next video.